Have humans always been in charge of their destiny? Or have they had a little help along the way? In reviewing ancient history, there have been signs that humankind has never been alone. There is artwork that provides evidence on ancient rock and cave paintings depicting beings looking remarkably like space travelers. From France to Australia, and from North America to Algeria and India, let's explore five cave paintings from around the world and gather evidence proving that aliens have been with us for thousands of years. Number 5. Chhattisgarh, India The cave paintings in Chhattisgarh date from 10,000 years ago and according to archaeologist Jayar Bhagat, the paintings depict extraterrestrials. The Chhattisgarh State Department of Archaeology and Culture is planning to seek the help of NASA and ISRO for research regarding the paintings. The paintings are done in natural colours that have hardly faded despite the years. The strangely carved figures are seen holding weapon-like objects and do not have clear features. The nose and mouth are missing. And in a few pictures, they are even shown wearing spacesuits. According to the Times of India, there are several beliefs among locals in these villages that narrate stories they have heard from ancestors about Rahila people. The small-sized ones used to land from the sky in a round-shaped flying object and take away one or two persons in the village who never returned. Number 4. Pecmel, France Pecmel dates from 14,000 to 19,000 years ago, where there are many instances of cave drawings that bear images of UFOs and aliens. It is believed that prehistoric cavemen used to draw whatever they used to see, hence the existences of the images of UFOs and aliens in the various cave drawings. The cave portrays objects that look like flying saucers moving about amongst the local wildlife, depicting a field of different wild animals, amidst which there is a strange looking humanoid structure that has limbs and a tail as well. There is no reason to believe that this figure was just imagined, as all the other animals seen in the drawings can be identified. Three flying objects can also be seen in this image that was drawn thousands of years ago. Number three, Kimberley, Western Australia. There are images painted on the cave that are 5,000 years old that resemble grey aliens with their hairless oversized heads, large black eyes, with no ears or mouths. Why did the ancient Australian Aborigines draw images like this? Because they certainly do not resemble the Aborigines that painted them in any shape or form. What is even more surprising is the oral account of the one genus, which has been passed from generation to generation as all of the Aboriginal Dreamtime stories have. The story goes that the Wangina were sky beings or spirits from the clouds who came down from the Milky Way during Dreamtime and created the Earth and all of its inhabitants. Then Wangina looked upon the inhabitants and realised the enormity of the task and returned home to bring more Wanginas. With the aid of the Dreamtime snake, the Wangina descended and spent their Dreamtime creating, teaching and being gods to the Aboriginals whom they created. After some time, the Wanginas disappeared. They descended into the earth and since then have lived at the bottom of the water source associated with each of the paintings. There, they continually produce new child seeds, which are regarded as a source of all human life. Some Wangina also return to the sky and can now be seen at night as lights moving high above the earth. Number 2. Horseshoe Canyon, Utah, North America In the southwestern United States, mainly in the state of Utah, there is a great concentration of places where thousands of years ago early inhabitants depicted strange beings with elongated heads, massive height and helmet-like objects as well as a number of depictions of what many authors have identified as cosmic maps. 
In Horseshoe Canyon, there is a 17 foot high painting, which is about 3,000 years old, of tall beings standing ominously without arms. One of the beings is larger than the rest and is very similar to the being that was drawn in the Kimberleys in Australia. Were these ancients trying to convey some sort of message and these drawings were in their mode of communication? Experts have been trying to solve the meaning of the figures painted on countless rocks in Utah. Are these strange drawings representative of ancient man's ingenuity or just their imagination? Or are these figures suggesting that the mysterious beings were actually sky people or alien visitors? Number one, the Sili Niger, Algeria. According to many researchers, the mysterious cave paintings of Desili could prove to be the best evidence of extraterrestrial beings present on Earth in the distant past. The incredible cave paintings are found in the Desili Plateau, southern Algeria in the Sahara. Desili Niger means Plateau of the Rivers. Around 8000 BC, ancient people of Africa represented their everyday lives through their cave paintings of animals and plants. The ancient people also depicted strange beings that are unlike anything in the region. Through these paintings, researchers speculate that the Sahara region was completely different 4,000 to 6,000 years ago. It was abundant with life. According to researchers, the cave paintings of Tisili are one of the most important ancient collections of rock art known today. Unfortunately, only 20% of them remain visible as the majority of these incredible cave paintings have been destroyed by erosion. What makes these paintings unique is that the Tassili cave paintings contain several colours, whereas most cave paintings from that period were done with a single shade of colour. There are numerous mysteries surrounding the ancient inhabitants of the Tassili caves. The most incredible features are perhaps the mysterious depictions of strange beings with helmets and suits resembling modern-day astronauts. These mysterious depictions have filled debate among researchers. As with many other cave paintings, why would they depict rivers, jungles and animals native to the region at that time and then depict something that would have been totally foreign to them, such as the strange humanoid figures with helmets and suits? The ancient people of the Sea Caves portrayed their everyday life and their experiences. They did not invent these humanoid figures, which in some cases are even depicted with mysterious antennas on their helmets. 